Amelia couldn't sleep a wink the night before her trip. Excitement buzzed in her tummy like a hive full of busy bees. As dawn broke, her father called out, Come on, Amelia, time to get up. It's a long way to the train station. Amelia hopped out of bed and threw on her clothes. Butterflies fluttered in her stomach, making breakfast seem unappetizing. Today was the exciting day she'd finally visit her Aunt Iris. It was also her first time traveling alone on a train. Amelia and her father set off from their village on the long walk to the station. They arrived just as the midday sun reached its highest point in the sky. Soon, a train with hardly any passengers pulled into the station. Amelia, a nervous wreck, climbed aboard. Willow Creek, remember, her father said, his voice laced with worry. Don't chat with strangers. The train lurched forward, quickly picking up speed. Amelia watched her father shrink into a tiny speck in the distance until he vanished altogether. The journey seemed to stretch on forever. Fields, trees, villages, and animals blurred past the window in a dizzying rush. As time crept by, Amelia's eyelids grew heavy, and she drifted off to sleep. Amelia woke up with a start. Darkness pressed against the window, and a cold fear settled in her stomach. She was all alone in the train carriage except for a large, imposing man. His short, bristly hair and face marked with a scar made him look intimidating. The man gave her a smile that didn't quite reach his eyes. Awake now, are you? Where are you headed? Amelia, remembering her father's warning, kept her lips tightly shut. Going to Oakhaven, the man pressed. Amelia was surprised. No, Willow Creek, she mumbled, barely a whisper. Willow Creek, the man repeated, raising an eyebrow. We passed Willow Creek two hours ago. You must have been sleeping like a log. Tears welled up in Amelia's eyes. She sat rigidly, a shiver running down her spine despite the warmth of the train carriage. Don't you fret, little one, the man soothed. I'll help you get there. What's your name? Amelia, she whispered. Ethan, he said, extending a hand. You can trust me. Amelia. Uncertainty nod at Amelia. Ethan's appearance was off-putting, but his voice held a kind tone. Was he good or bad? The train began to slow down. Ethan approached the window. Amelia noticed a newspaper lying on his seat a picture of his face plastered on the back page. A bold headline screamed, This man is a champion boxer. Panic surged through Amelia. The newspaper confirmed her worst fears. Ethan was no ordinary traveler. He was a dangerous fighter. Ethan returned to his seat. We're pulling into Oakhaven soon, he announced. Stick close to me, and I'll help you sort things out. 
the train screeched to a halt. Amelia scrambled up, desperate to escape. She fumbled with the heavy train door but couldn't budge it. Ethan stood behind her. I'll open it for you at the station exit, he offered helpfully. At the station, the ticket collector stopped Amelia. Ticket, please? Amelia explained, this ticket was for Willow Creek. I fell asleep and missed my stop. I don't have any money. Just then, a voice interjected. I'll pay for her. It was Ethan. Thank you, sir, Amelia mumbled, unsure of what to do. Come along, Amelia, Ethan beckoned. Amelia wanted to run, but fear kept her rooted to the spot. Exhausted and lost, she didn't know anyone in this bustling city. Ethan hailed a taxi and bundled Amelia inside. The taxi weaved through Oak Haven's busy streets, past shops, cars, and a crowd of people. Finally, they turned down a narrow, dimly lit street. Fear gnawed at Amelia's insides. Ethan paid the driver and gestured for Amelia to follow. The building they entered housed a small, dingy cafe. Two men sat huddled over a card game. They looked up at Ethan, a grin splitting one face. Well, well, champ. Come join us. Who's the lovely lady, one of them said. Ethan shrugged, introducing Amelia simply as lost. The men chuckled. Lost, is she? The other one chimed in, his voice raspy. Lucky you, Ethan. Amelia's heart hammered in her chest.